In this video, we will take a look at how to delete from a linked list by searching for an element. So, I am going to input an element from the user, search for it in the linked list, and if it exists, delete that element. I am going to give an example on one side and write the code on the other. So, let's start by defining the function. So in this function called del underscore search, I'm taking x as my input parameter as the element I would like to delete from the linked list and I will return a variable of type node because I'm going to be de returning the node at which I will delete x from. Okay, so let's look at the different cases we can encounter. So the first thing we need to do is we need to search for the element x. So as we have written in our search function, I'm going to give some node a is equal to search of x. What this function does is, as we have seen earlier, it will take in the input x, check if this is present in our list, if it is present, it will return the node at which it is present and if it is not present, it will return a null value. So the first case we can encounter is x is not present. So we have told our function to delete an element x, but we can't find x in the linked list. So in that case, we want to stop executing our function and return from there. So let's see how we are going to do that. So if a is null, what does this mean? This means that x is not found. And so I would like to return from this point. So I will return null. I am returning null because I have given node as my return type but I cannot find the node which I wish to delete so I will return a null value. So this is the first case. The second case is when A is the starting node. That is X is the first element in the list. In such a case, if we want to delete the very first node, we will have to update start to the next node as well. It's not enough to just change the pointers. So this is similar to deleting from the beginning of a list. So in such a case, when x is the first element, when x is the first element and thereby a is start, then we can just call the function of delete from the beginning. So now I have called the function of delete in the beginning and stored the node which we are deleting in a variable called y. At this point, I have deleted the first node and I can return this y. With that, I finish the second case when a is the starting element. The next case is when a is the last element or a is end. That is, x is the last element. In such a case, we can call the delete from the end function because we are trying to delete an element from the end. So, if a is equal to end, then we must 
delete from the end. We are storing the result of deleting from the end in a node called Z. Now that we have deleted this, we can return the node which we have deleted. With that, we have come to the end of handling our third case. Now we reach the fourth case, which is A is somewhere in the middle. So let's take an example and see how that would work. So let me assume that I want to delete the element 2. So first I'm going to search for this element and I will get my node A as this one because I have found 2 here. Now I want to delete this node. In such a case, what must I do? So let me call this A.previous and let me call this A.next. I don't want to have this node A anymore. So the first thing I will do is I will remove this link which connects A.previous to A. I will make this point to the third node. So I'm going to make the first node point to the third node. So what should I do? What I'm doing here is I'm saying A.previous which is this node dot next so first I'm going to the node a dot previous inside a dot previous I'm going to the block a dot previous dot next so I'm going to this block now over there what do I want to fill I want to fill the address of this node we want to skip over a and we want to fill the address of this node so this means a dot previous dot next should equal to a dot next. So this is no longer 80, this will become 70. So we have made one link correctly. What is the second link we need to make? We want this node to succeed this node. That means we want this to be the preceder to the third node. In such a case, this block which stores the previous node address of a.next should be the first node. We want to skip over the second node. So this should point back to the first node. In such a case, what are we doing? We are switching the previous block of a.next and we are storing a.previous in that block. So instead of 80 over here, we will have 100. So let's see how that works. In the node of a.next, inside the previous block, therefore we have a.next.previous is equal to a.previous. Once we do this, let's see what the list looks like. So we have the very first node. Over there, the next address is 70. So let's see what's at address 70. We have the block which is at address 70. We get this list, which is exactly what we want. We want it to delete number element 2. With this, we have completed our 
deletion operation and now we are ready to return the element which we have or the node which we have deleted so at the end I am going to return the node which we have deleted which is node A with that we come to the end of our searching and deleting function and we can close this function